Not only is the body of the Sphinx far more eroded than the head, suggesting that the head was recarved at a later date, but the walls around the Sphinx display advanced water erosion. Egyptologists believe that the Sphinx is between three and 5,000 years old. However, some geologists have suggested that the water erosion would require hundreds of years of sustained rainfall. And the last time Egypt had a climate that would explain something like that was between 10 and 20,000 years ago. Meaning that the Great Sphinx is at least 12,000 years old. The people who presented the theory were mocked and ridiculed, and the debate forced a spotlight onto an uncomfortable and major flaw in the archaeological community, their refusal to accept evidence that doesn't fit the accepted historical paradigm. A lot has happened since the 90s, and our paradigm has shifted quite a bit, mainly because of the discovery of Gobekli Tepe, a pre-Neolithic civilization that predates Sumeria by around 7,000 years. 